Aston Villa are one of the most successful teams in English football, but many may be unfamiliar with the man who bought them the majority of this success, George Ramsey. Ramsey is seen by many as the game's first true manager, and he made Aston Villa the first team to truly dominate English football during his 30-year reign. This is a story of George Ramsey, the man who made Aston Villa. George Ramsey was born in Glasgow on the 1st of March 1855. He would move to Birmingham in around 1871 to work as a clerk in a brass foundry. He had played football for Glasgow Rovers before his move down south. His union of Aston Villa was soon to be formed out of a chance encounter. In 1876, he walked past the Aston Villa team as they were playing a practice match in Aston Park. Being short on numbers, they asked Ramsey if he wanted to join in. It was a request that would perhaps be the most important moment in Aston Villa's history. Ramsey took part in the game and dazzled the other players with his ability, and following the end of the match, they asked him to join the team, feeling his football knowledge could take them to new places. Ramsey agreed, as he was not impressed with their style of play and wanted to help them develop a passing game. One of Ramsey's first actions was helping the club find a new home. He moved them to the Wellington Road ground in North Birmingham, which meant that the club could now charge for admission. He also signed Archie Hunter for the side, who would go on to become Villa captain and a club legend. The club continued to develop their version of the passing game, first developed in Ramsey's native Scotland. It would gain them silverware as they claimed the Birmingham Senior Cup in 1880, with Ramsey lifting the trophy as captain. They would win this trophy nine times in the next 12 seasons. Unfortunately, Ramsey's playing career would soon grind to a halt. He picked up a knee injury in 1882 that would ultimately lead to him retiring. The captaincy was handed to Archie Hunter, whilst Ramsey would continue to work behind the scenes. When football became professional in 1885, Aston Villa went on the hunt for a manager. They placed an advert in the Birmingham Daily Gazette and received over 150 applications. However, due to his association with the club, it was decided that Ramsey was the man for the job. He was appointed in this role in the summer of 1886 and would hold this position for 30 years. In his first season, Ramsey had taken Villa to their biggest moments yet. They reached the FA Cup final, where they would face Midlands rivals West Brom at the Kennington Oval. Archie Hunter opened the scoring for Villa, meaning he had scored in every single round of the cup. Dennis Hodgetts netted late on to make it 2-0 and sealed the FA Cup for Aston Villa. It was the club's first ever major honour, and there were plenty more to follow. Aston Villa were one of the first clubs to partake in the first ever season of the Football League, with one of Villa's directors, William McGregor, being the founder of said league. Villa would take time to rise to the top of the table, with the committee running the club being replaced in 1893 with the aim of improving Aston Villa's fortunes, and soon there would be more silverware. Aston Villa won the league for the first ever time in 1894 and claimed a second FA Cup the next year, defeating West Brom in the final again. They claimed the league again in 1896 and retained it the next year before making it a double when they defeated Everton to claim their third FA Cup. 1897 was not just a special year for Aston Villa because they claimed the double, they also found their home. Aston Villa would move to the Aston Lower Grounds, a place that would later be known as Villa Park, a place they have remained ever since. The success continued, with Aston Villa by far and away the most successful team in England, having won five league titles and three FA Cups by the end of Queen Victoria's reign in 1901. Whilst the success somewhat slowed down at the turn of the century, there was still silverware on show. Villa won the league again in 1910, as well as the FA Cup in 1905 and 1913. Football was put on hold due to the outbreak of World War I, but when it returned, Aston Villa were involved in the moments that symbolised the game's return. Ramsey signed Billy Walker for the club in January 1920. Walker would go on to be Aston Villa's all-time top scorer with 244 goals, a record that still stands today. He netted twice in a 2-1 win over QPR in the FA Cup first round, the first step in Villa reaching the final again. A strike from Billy Curtin saw Ramsey take Villa to their sixth FA Cup overall, in the first FA Cup final since World War I. 
Ramsay would be in charge of Villa for six more years, before he stepped down in 1926 at the age of 71, deciding to go upstairs and fill in the roles of advisor and vice president. He would later state of his success at Villa Park that he had sown an acorn and caused an oak tree to grow. In his 30 years in the Villa Park hot seat, he won an incredible six league titles and six FA Cups. Aston Villa have only tasted victory in the league and FA Cup, one time each since Ramsey's retirement. George Ramsey died on the 7th of October 1935, at the age of 80. Overall, he spent a total of 59 years associated with Aston Villa. Without George Ramsey, Aston Villa may very well have been lost to time. Had he not encountered the players during a casual stroll, they could easily have fallen away like so many young clubs of the time did. But instead, he turned their fortunes around, making them the first giants of English football, and finding them a place they have called home ever since. No manager has even come close to achieving the success Ramsey did with Aston Villa, even with the club winning the European Cup in 1982. George Ramsey is without question the most important figure in Aston Villa's history, as without him, the club would be nothing more than dust and ashes.